Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Gay for Scratch, and if you've been on this channel for a while, you know I'm a little light on the musical side of things. It's not an area where I've spent a lot of time, it's one of the areas of my least familiarity, and one of the programs recommended to me is what we're going to cover today. So this is one of the most easy to get into entry level music creation programs out there, and it's completely free. It is called, oh, I didn't want to do this part, Bosca Sea Oil? Bosca Coil? I have no idea. It's Bosca Sea Oil. I'm sure I'll get a few comments down, but they'll tell me the real way to say it. But it is B-O-S-C-A-C-E-O-I-L. Bosca Coil. Ah, to hell with it. It's a cool program, and it's free. Uh, it's actually made available by Terry Cavanaugh. Now, your name you may sound familiar too, because he's known in indie development circles. He's the creator of Super Hexagon and blah, 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 uh, among other programs, and including Bosca Sea Oil. It is available up on itch.io. It is one of those name your price to download things. Obviously, your price you can name is also zero. And as we are about to see, it is very easy to use. Now, I gotta warn you though, just because the program is easy to use doesn't mean the results sound good. So there is a fairly good chance, we'll go with three or 4% chance, that by the end of this video, your ears may be bleeding. If that happens, well, first off, I take note of responsibility, I warned you up front. And second off, yes, yeah, sorry about that whole hearing loss thing. But without further ado, let's jump in. You'll notice right here, the download is only 20 megs in size, and it's available for uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux. I believe it's actually an Adobe Air application, so we can probably run it just about every platform that had an Adobe runtime, but uh, yeah, there's downloads available for those three platforms. Uh, it's just a zip file or an archive file, extract it out, run the executable inside, and you get this. Now, the first time you run it, you actually get offered to do a tutorial, and frankly, that tutorial is all you need to make this work. But here is your audio in editing environment. It's You've got your file management across the top here, your arrangements, your instruments, and advanced. We'll get into all of those things, and none of it actually is really all that difficult. You just basically start by painting notes. So you've got your... Um your various different notes available down here, your timeline across this way. Each cell is an in individual note at that BPM. So your BPM is up here, so we're at 120 beats per minute. We're using a grand piano with a normal scale. So if I want to play Hot Cross Bunch, which if I recall my music theory correctly was B, A, G, I can do B, and then when it hits it, it'll play it. So A, G, B, A, G, and I think it was A, 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 G, 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 B, A, G. So there is a very fast hot cross bonds implementation. So slow that down. All right. So there is the extent of my musical talent. We just created Hot Cross Buns. Now what you'll notice is each individual note very easily created. Basically just left click to drop a note down. If you make a mistake, right click to delete it back out. And really that's kind of it. Uh, this, now what you might want to do is do multiple notes or a held note. Uh, so in that case, say if I wanted to do three notes across here, I just scroll up my mouse button. You'll see that it grows in size. So we can make a very long B like that. And it's just gonna hold the note. So, and we can overlap notes like this. So if you want a longer held note, you use scroll wheel to zoom it up, and then you can scroll back down to get it back down to size. And once again, right click to delete that note. Over here, you've got your pattern and your uh, BPM. So let's do back to about 100. And here is where you can ultimately export your song out when you're done. Click export, and you can save it out as a WAV file or a MIDI format. Now MIDI is kind of two things actually. MIDI is an interface format for hooking up devices to your computer. So I can hook up a MIDI compatible guitar or keyboard to my computer via the MIDI interface. Um, and it's also kind of an encoded sound format. You also see if we click here more, we got other options. We can also export as XM or MML. And then what you can do basically, since you can export to waveform though, you can take that waveform and convert it to whatever the heck you want, like Ogvorbis or MP3 using something like Audacity. All right, so that's the basics of it. You see here, we only have one instrument to play with for this little setting. So let's go up here and look at another instrument option. So we're clicked into the instruments tabs. We've got our grand piano. What we could do now is go ahead and add a new instrument. And you'll see it brings up an option over here. We've got the MIDI options and the MIDI options are actually full of instruments. So if we wanted to do uh, strings, we've got viola, cello, harp, you name it. And we've also got individual uh, instruments down here. So for example, if I wanted to do a wind instrument of flute, 
there you go. So we're now uh, have a flute option available. And now we can switch down here to flute. And we are creating flute music now. And let me just do all the way to the end of our song. So there you go. And now what you can do is you can play around with this guy and do low pass filter. I told you about the ear bleeding in advance, so don't blame me. Or we can also just straight out change the um, instrument. And through this combination of low pass filter, um, you can kind of recreate just about any sound effect you want. Or we go back up here to have basically no filter. And then we here we can, can change the volume going on. So that is how you basically create a new instrument. You can have as many instruments as you want, just keep adding them up, and then they will show up down here in your player. Now what you've seen so far is we have this very small section. So uh, if 120 BPM, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 across right now, which coincidentally is what this controls right here. So that's 16, so if we wanted to have that change out, uh, we could do so right there. So at 16, so that's so well, 16 divided by 100 of a second. So obviously, we don't have much of a song going on right now, so we probably want to have something happen next. And we can do that. We can basically come on down here, we can add a new chunk in, and we can just drag that chunk into the world like so. So now if we want to keep our song going, we can. So now you'll see as it plays through, oh, we got to set the play marker down there so it does the whole song. You'll see it'll go into the second section. Now if we wanted to just have it in that area, we can do that as well. So now we're only playing our second part. And basically as you make your song longer and longer, you just keep adding things across as you go across here. Very, very, very simple. Now let's say we wanted to add a drum beat as well. Some sick beats to our mix here. This is an amazing song that we're creating. Let's see what else we can do. Uh, there's a gunshot going off in the background. That's great. All right, so now let's go ahead and we'll add a MIDI and we will add a... Oh, I'm editing. Sorry, I just, well, it doesn't matter. So we'll add a new instrument, MIDI, and we'll change this to uh, pads. Uh, actually, no, drums. We'll go drums and steel drum. So now we've got a new instrument going on for us, full volume on that. So go back over here, and now what we can do is just basically add a new arrangement in. And this guy right here, we'll drag that across, and let's change that out so it's steel drums, and we just layer in our drum effect. Oh. There you go. So now you have uh, that drum going on. Let's put the low pass filter down here a bit. Actually, let's do it from steel drum to something. Let's go wood. Uh, drums, wood block. There you go. So while you have the one going on, you can now have multiple tracks. So that's how you can layer various different instruments in to make your sound. And then I could go ahead and take this guy, I believe it was middle mouse button, and I created a duplicate of it, and then we could just have that repeat. There you go. So you just kind of keep layering these things together until you've got a sound that you're happy with. And then you can also, same controls up here, uh, you can right click to delete something, uh, left click to select it and move it like that. Um, or we can pull them in from our panel over here and we can create new ones as well. And you kind of build all these things together to um, ultimately make your song. It's, it's really kind of simple for the most part. We can move things up an octave or scale or down quickly at the same time. You can edit your scale over here. And you'll see it's updating across the left hand margin here. Um, and yeah, that, that is it. It's very, very straightforward. And we'll go over here into advanced, and uh, I, I don't really need any of this to be honest, which is I guess why it's over here in advanced, but perhaps you'll want to change the sound buffer size or swing or scale up for a delay. I don't, I don't really need any of that stuff. So I, I again, I'm not a musical guy. Um, this is about the extent of my ability. But a fool like me learned to use this in just seconds. Quite literally, you know, let, let me just pause that so you don't have to listen to that while I finish things up here. But it, that really is the extent of what it takes when you're once again done. So you can load and save your, your, your masterpiece right here using load and save. But when you're done, go ahead and click your wave file out and it will export it out as a wave. 
and you just pick where you want to put it. So like my song, like that. It will show up somewhere on your desktop, like this guy. And it's just, there's your song. And then of course, if you wanted to get it into a different format, you could always drop it into something like Audacity and then export it into another audio format or into another editor or whatever. But you can see it is exceptionally easy to create music using, uh, all right, Bosca Sea Oil. I go with that, Bosca Sea Oil. I'm going to settle on that one. So again, that's it. Uh, I'm not strong on the music stuff, but I'm going to cover it a little bit more, just maybe to make up a little bit of that lack of knowledge. And because, you know, you guys on this channel learn about all kinds of development tools, game engines, art programs, 3D graphics programs, assets out there, but almost nothing about music. So I'm going to try and rectify that a bit. And I'm going to personally learn to use a few more of these programs. And maybe, I don't know, I can learn to be a little bit less tone deaf in time. But hopefully you found that useful. If you are looking for a program to create music for your game, Bosca Sea Oil, uh, yeah, I'll go with that, is about as easy as I've ever seen. It's even easier than GarageBand, and GarageBand was one of the easiest things I've ever worked with. And you can actually get some staggeringly good results in a very quick period of time. So, uh, yeah, definitely uh, check this one out. Of course, you're going to get a very chip tune kind of sound out of this. It's sort of what it's aimed at. Um, so if you want to get real-world musical samples, you're probably going to want to work with a kind of more high-end DAW, but we'll look at those in the future. So also, if you guys got recommendations, for me again this is not my area of specialty so if there's a musical program out there that I should be aware of or a sound effects program or a sound effects resource you name it let me know in comments down below I will be sure to look into it and hopefully share it with everyone else and my thanks to Terry Kavanaugh for providing this functionality completely free that's very swell of you all right that's it again links as always down below hopefully you found that useful talk to you all later goodbye